Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not laughing at it. I'm laughing with joy because I have legit wanted one of these for so long and I've never had one. <laughs> Hey guys, Madison here, back for another episode of Mads Mail. What did I get this week? We're about to find out. This is going to be probably the longest Mads Mail yet because this is going to be the most packages I've opened in one video. So we should probably get started. Let's get to the first package. This one is from Jeanette. We have a letter here, maybe two letters. You seem to be bewildered by Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Yes, I was. <laughs> this book explains it all and is so well written, you won't be able to put it down. Paglia sees things that no one else sees. Oh. I love it. It's got a screenshot of me reacting to the movie. <laughs> that was definitely my bewildered face. The Birds BFI Film Classics by Camille Paglia. Paglia? It's got good reviews. Yeah, I might, I might have to check that out because I was definitely bewildered but also very intrigued. I really enjoyed The Birds actually. Despite the, um, despite the confounding ending of, like, what happened, you know, because we don't really know. The open ending, uh, kind of frustrated me at first, but honestly, the more I thought about it, the more I'm like, I feel like it works for that movie. And these are some more movie recommendations, I would assume. We've got The Tenth Victim, I Knew Her Well. Uh, who are seconds, blow up, fantastic voyage, uh, the, the now child, Camille 2000, danger, diabolic, point blank, the graduate, and Bonnie and Clyde. I am so fascinated by the Bonnie and Clyde story. I've done, I'm a little rusty, but I've done a lot of research on it. Um, and I've seen one Bonnie and Clyde movie. It's much newer. It's The Highwaymen, I think is what it was called. Um, and it came out just maybe a couple of years ago. It had Woody Harrelson and Kevin Costner. And Bonnie and Clyde were the, like, the, they were the end goal, like, the end game. Like, they were the ones that Woody Harrelson and Kevin Costner were hunting down. They were playing the... FBI agents, I think it was the FBI, that were, like, hunting them down at the end. But Bonnie and Clyde were never really on screen until the very end. They were these just kind of mysterious figures that we didn't really get to see much of and get to know them as people. They were just a target. Um, so, yeah, I would like to see one that's more about them and following their journey uh, because the Highwaymen was very much from the point of view of the lawmen hunting them and not from their point of view, so... Uh, I have no idea how historically accurate the Bonnie and Clyde movie is from the 60s, but I'm really interested to check that one out. Um, they were both very interesting people, and their story is even more complicated than I feel like it is often portrayed. So anyway, not to go off on a Bonnie and Clyde tangent, thank you, Jeanette, for the book recommendation and for the movie recommendations. I can't really see who this next package is from. I think I'm going to need scissors to open this one. Apologies to headphone users if this is really loud. I don't know. Okay, that did not help. My goodness, it's like sealed. How do I get inside? I feel like I might have just accidentally made this harder on myself. I got it, guys. I'm in. I'm in. Here we go. Okay. We're making progress. Ooh, what's this? Rustler's Rhapsody. Tom Berenger. Is this a western? It looks very westerny. Let me get the glare off the case there. 
This looks very interesting. <laughs> Tumbling tumbleweeds. Is that Andy Andy Griffith? That totally looks like Andy Griffith on the back. <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to be, but it totally looks like him. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe that's Tom Berenger again on the back, but... The Wild West goes wacko when the greatest fast drawing, fancy dressing, silver spurred, geeter playing, singing cowboy, movie matinee idol, Rex O'Herlihan hits the saddle and Rustler's Rhapsody, a cockeyed, affectionate send up of the 40s B movie western. Classic western stereotypes and cliches get turned on their ear when our fearless hero. Fully dressed in white and atop his dancing horse Wildflower rides into the tackiest town west of the Pecos to do good deeds and defy desperados. Written and directed by Hugh Wilson, who was responsible for the hilarious Police Academy, Wrestler's Rhapsody also stars Andy Griffith, <laughs> Andy Griffith and Mary Lou Henner. This sounds really interesting. I have not really dived into comedic westerns as of yet. I've been watching very serious westerns for the most part. They have humor in them, but like more serious westerns. I haven't really gotten into the comedies yet, but this sounds like it could be hilarious. And I, yes, that is totally Andy Griffith on the back. I am a huge Andy Griffith fan. I love the Andy Griffith show. I still watch it at least like once or twice a week whenever I catch it on TV. One of my favorite shows of all time. It was so wholesome and so funny, and it was just the greatest. So, um, yes, thank you so much to whoever sent me this. I couldn't see your name anywhere on the packaging. Maybe I missed it. Um, but thank you so much. I will have to add this to my list of Westerns to check out. This next package is from Randall. What have we got here? We have a letter and movies. I'll read the letter first. Dear Madison, I want to first thank you for the great work you do as a reactor. I discovered you and others who do first time reactions to movies last year and I find them to be surprisingly enjoyable. Watching great movies through the eyes of others is to share in their experience. Of all the reactors I've discovered, to me, you are the best. Well, thank you, Randall. That means a lot. I like that you prefer older classics, especially westerns, right up my alley. For example, your recent reaction to Ben-Hur, a movie I love and have seen many times in my 70-plus years, was wonderful and heartfelt. I often fought back tears myself. Oh, <laughs> that was definitely a tearjerker. Anyway, enclosed are two movies I submit for your future attention. Bad Day at Black Rock is a 1955 American neo-western with an all-star cast. I saw it for the first time recently and it kept me in suspense. The Three Faces of Eve is a mystery drama based on a true story. Joanne Woodward, wife of Paul Newman, won the Academy Award for Best Actress. I know you have a huge backlog of stuff to review slash react to, but I hope within the next couple of years to perhaps see you react to one or both of these. One thing is obvious to me. Your parents did an outstanding job raising you, and for that they are to be commended. Please pass along my thanks to them. <laughs> my parents did do a pretty good job, I'm not gonna lie. Not bragging on myself, but bragging on them. They're the best. And thank you very much, Randall. I will definitely pass that along to them. Best regards, Randall. Thank you so much, Randall. Thank you for the kind letter, and thank you so much for the movies. Bad Day at Black Rock and The Three Faces of Eve. These both look very intriguing. We got here Spencer Tracy, Robert Ryan. Okay, so this is the Neo-Western, and this one... This looks very interesting. 
Unforgettable portrayal of a woman with multiple personality disorder. A troubled housewife who begins seeing a psychiatrist. Wow. I could definitely see there being a lot of drama in this based on a, a, the real life story of a South Carolina woman who ultimately manifested 22 different personalities over her lifetime. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is crazy crazy. <laughs> that sounds like it could go the horror route. I don't know if this movie goes that direction, but whoa, that is interesting. I'm going to have to check these out. Thank you so much, Randall. I really appreciate it. I'm not sure who this next package is from. Oh, this is from Celeste. Got a movie. What is it? It is The Bridge on the River Kwai. I have heard of this movie. Is it... I think it's a war movie. I don't know which era. Let's see. We've got William Holden, Alec Guinness, and Jack Hawkins. Wow. That is a heck of a cast. William Holden, I remember him from The Wild Bunch, and I think he was also in The Towering Inferno. And Alec Guinness, of course, is Obi-Wan Kenobi. I know that's probably not what he wants to be remembered for, <laughs> but that's how I know him. Bridge on the River Kwai. Winner of seven Academy Awards. That is crazy. I'm trying to see what war this is. It looks like it could be Vietnam or something. I'm not sure. But thank you so much, Celeste. Seven Academy Awards. That is crazy. It must be an incredible film, and I will definitely have to put it on my list. So thank you so much for the movie, Celeste. Here is a look at the look at the cover. Thank you so much. Next package. Let's see. This one is from... I'm not sure. It doesn't say. Well, I was hoping to see who this one was from, but I don't see a name anywhere. I'm sorry if you put your name on this and I didn't see it, but we have... Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. I remember hearing about this. I know there was a... Isn't there a TV show? I think there was a TV show called Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. But this is a movie version? Oh, it's a musical. Okay. Things are different for the Pontipi men now that Big Brother Adams fetched a bride and brought her to their cabin... Indeed, the Unwed brothers are so inspired, they raid the town and carry off rides of their own. <laughs> oh, this, this thing sounds like it's going to get crazy quickly. This sounds like a lot of fun. I've only done, I think, one musical on my channel, The Sound of Music. And musicals are hard to react to because they are such a pain in terms of copyright because you can't include too much of the songs or you get copyright claimed and blocked but you also have to include part of the songs because it's a literal musical so you can just cut everything out so it's a real challenge but uh I thoroughly enjoyed reacting to the sound of music that's one of my favorite reactions I've ever done and I definitely want to do more musicals so Thank you so much. Whoever sent this to me, I will definitely add it to my list of musicals to react to because this sounds like it could be a hoot. Next package. Is from... I don't know. I don't know. You guys got to put your name on these so I can thank you by name. We have Libeled Lady starring Jean Harlow, William Powell, 
Myrna Loy, Spencer Tracy. Wonderful comedy with the four stars working at full steam. I do love a good comedy. Oh, I just found the note. I just found the note. I'm a dummy, but I found it. Madison, this is one of my parents and my all-time faves. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much again for your friendship and for accepting the commission. Love ya. From Kim. For those who don't know, Kim is one of my very dear friends. I recently did an art commission for her, and she told me. She told me I had a gift on the way, and it was going to be one of her favorite movies. So here it is. A classic comedy. I don't believe I am familiar with the cast, but I am very much looking forward to getting to know them better. That has been one of the most fun things on my channel so far for me has been discovering so many actors that I did not know previously. Like I had no clue who they were or like I just knew their name and did, had never actually seen them in a movie. Getting to know those actors and see their amazing performances has just been so much fun for me. So I look forward to, in the years to come, learning more and more of the classic era actors and getting to see more of these movies. So thank you so much, Kim. I cannot wait to check this out. We are racking up on the movies. I am going to have such an amazing movie collection thanks to you guys. Next package... I don't know why these Amazon Prime packages are so hard for me to open. I'm having to literally cut them open. But I'm, I'm working with it. I'm working with it. Let's see, I'm going to try very hard not to miss any notes. Yes, we have a note. Oh, this is also from Celeste. Thank you so much, Celeste. We've got another movie here. What is it? The Three Musketeers? The Four Musketeers? Oh, it contains two original films. How exciting! We have Oliver Reed, Ra Raquel Welch. I think I, I know that name. I don't think I've actually seen her in a movie, but I've heard that name. Christopher Lee, the legend, one of my all-time favorites, Sir Christopher Lee. Michael York, Faye Dunaway, definitely know her. Charlton Heston, dude. This is such a cast. Wow. Directed by Richard Lester. The Three Musketeers and the Four Musketeers. I've got to check these out. So exciting. What a cast. My mind is blown. I'm like, imagining this. This is going to be such an interesting combination. <laughs> the Three Musketeers is one of those stories that's been adapted so many times, but I cannot actually think of, like, I can't think if I've actually watched an adaptation all the way through. I think I've seen maybe pieces of one before. It was one newer than this. I think it had Orlando Bloom in it. <laughs> Could be wrong about that. But I know there was a newer adaptation, I, and I, like, saw a part of it on TV maybe one time, but not all the way through. I definitely have not seen this one. Um, and I didn't know there was a sequel called The Four Musketeers. This is so exciting. I can't wait to check this out. Thank you so much, Celeste. I'm going to have to do a poll one day that's, like, movies submitted by people in mailbag. <laughs> And just, like, put those movies on the polls. I think that could be really fun until I've, like, gone through them all. I think that would be really exciting. Thank you so much. Can't wait to check it out. Oh, mama, that's big. <laughs> we have one more package here, guys. And this one is from Joel, who, if you don't know, he's a legend. He sent me this Lonesome Dove sign up here, and it's just off camera. But I've got a, a wanted poster of Blue Duck, also from Lonesome Dove. If you have not seen Lonesome Dove, it's one of the greatest, most heart-wrenching miniseries you'll ever watch. If you're a Western fan and you haven't seen it, do it.
We're getting there, guys. It's hard to it's hard to open a big package with this table right in front of me. What is this? What? Hold on, guys. Hold on. What? Do, should I read the letter first or should I just open it? I think we're just going to open it first and then read the letter and be surprised. Okay, from what I've seen, I'm already getting excited. <laughs> okay, hold up. Enjoy your cowhide purchase. Y'all, if this is like a cowhide rug, I'm just going to lose my mind. <laughs> Hold on, okay. I'm like losing. Hold on, I'm like squished here. Okay. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if I can open this right here. <laughs> Hold on. Guys, are you there? Are you there? Okay. Oh my lord. Oh, okay. Now that I've got the box off, maybe that helps a little. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is a very, like, tight space. Hard for opening big things. Oh. My gosh. I'm not laughing at it. I'm laughing with joy because I have legit wanted one of these for so long and I've never had one. You guys, I don't even know if I can fully open this right here, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to at least show you part of it, because, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a cowhide frog. Oh, is this like real? It feels real. Oh my gosh. Can I just like show you guys part of this gorgeous pattern for a second? Like... Oh my gosh, this is so great. Oh my goodness, okay. Hold on, I'm gonna have to like try to stand up. Okay guys, so I'm kind of gonna be off camera, but I just feel like this deserves to be shown off in all its glory. Uh, <laughs> look at this. I still can't, okay, it's too big for me to, it's too big for me to show the whole thing on camera, but look at it. It is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. My very own cowhide rug. I'm like crying happy tears. <laughs> Would most women be this excited over a cowhide rug? Probably not. But this cowgirl is. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't even, I don't even know if I want to put this in my filming studio. Like this is so nice. It might need to go in my bedroom. Oh my goodness. I don't even, how do I fold it up again? Oh my goodness. This is so amazing. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Joel. I am losing my mind over this, if you can't tell. This is so nice. This is such a kind gift. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot your letter. <laughs> I gotta read your letter. Oh wait, there's like a message from the company too. Handpacked by Mary. Thank you, Mary. You did a fantastic job. We hope you absolutely love your new cowhide product. Our cowhide products are chromium tan, so they are supple and durable. We pride ourselves in photographing each of our cowhides individually so that you know exactly what you are getting. This is so exciting. I do love it. I do. <laughs> Madison, here's another gift for your Film Friday movie reaction room. It should go well with your Western of the Month theme. I received a great offer on St. Patrick's Day, 30% off on an already on sale item. I have a similar cowhide on my living room floor. I gave a similar hide to my brother a few years back. He has it draped over the back of his couch. Ooh, 
Now that's an idea. <laughs> the feel of the rug with my bare feet reminds me of the feeling you get petting a short haired dog. Ha. <laughs> anyway, I really enjoyed your smile and nerdiness when you open your packages during the Mads Mail streams. I hope you can find a place for it. It doesn't have to be located in the movie reaction room. Some of my favorite westerns that you might want to consider. John Wayne, The Searchers, Red River, True Grit, McClintock, Maureen O'Hara, A Western Comedy, my niece's favorite John Wayne movie, along with The Cowboys, The Sons of Katie Elder, teamed up with Dean Martin again. I get a kick out of counting the shots out of John Elder's six-shot revolver without reloading. In case you count, it's 14. Such was Hollywood back in the day. Well, Jill, you were probably very happy when I disreacted to Red River. <laughs> So we checked that one off the list. I've already seen The Searchers. I love it. So I cannot react to that one. But I still have not seen True Grit, McClintock, or The Sons of Katie Elder. I've seen True Grit, but not the John Wayne version. So I can definitely react to that one. An assortment of different actors. The Bravados, Gregory Peck and Stephen Boyd, Bend of the River, Jimmy Stewart, Rough Knight and Jericho, George Pepper, Dean Martin and Gene Simmons, Winchester 73, Jimmy Stewart, Far Country, Jimmy, is this supposed to be Jimmy Stewart? It says Jimmy Stewart. Or is it supposed to be Jimmy Stewart? I don't know. And Walter Brennan, Cowboy, starring Glenn Ford and Jack Lemmon, The Unforgiven, Burt Lancaster and Audrey Hepburn, her only Western, along with Audie Murphy, the most decorated soldier in World War II, Baldez is Coming, starring Burt Lancaster. This list is a good start. I'm sure that your other subscribers will suggest many more for your consideration. Thank you so much, Joel, for your letter. Thank you so much for the rug. I'm dying over it. <laughs> and thank you so much for the movie recommendations. There are some really good ones on here, some of which I've already been thinking about and are already on my list. So uh, keep an eye out for those because I'll definitely be reacting to them. I don't know how long it'll take me. It'll take me many years to get through all these great movies, but that's a good thing, right? We don't want to run out of good movies to watch. So, oh my gosh, I'm just staring at this rug, thinking about what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> I would love, like, I think it's probably too big to drape over my chair. Um, and I don't want to... I don't think I even want to put it on the floor in the movie reaction room because I only watch one movie a week and I want to see this rug every day. So <laughs> like I said, it might even go in my bedroom. My bedroom is very Western themed. Like I've been working on it over the last year or so, like slowly converting everything. It's getting very Western in there. So um, that rug would go perfect in there. And I am just so hyped about it. Wherever it ends up, it will be in a place where I see it very often because it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, and it's so soft. Thank you so much, Joel. I am so excited. And thank you so much to everyone who sent letters and movies. I'm so excited to get to watch them and continue on my film exploration journey and learning more classic actors. It's been so much fun so far. And you guys... It's just so much fun sharing the journey with you guys and getting to talk about movies and actors and all of that with you guys. It wouldn't be the same if I was just doing this by myself. It wouldn't be half as fun. <laughs> so thank you guys so much again for always coming along for the ride with me. And thank you so much for your kindness, sending me presents. You guys are the absolute best. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you guys again sometime soon for the next mailbag. Bye, guys.